Are you a food criminal? I know, it's a stupid question. Except it isn't. Under local laws and ordinances, you, interacting with food, can be classified as a criminal. So how does that happen? Say you decide to eat your lunch outside because the weather is beautiful. And as you unpack your sandwich and a few other items you made at home, you notice someone who's less fortunate than you. And because you're a decent human being, you decide to give them your lunch. You're now a food criminal. See, local food handling laws and ordinances treat restaurants and individual citizens just trying to help another human being out exactly the same. They require you to make the food in a licensed kitchen, be inspected, obey all food handling laws. And if you don't, you're a criminal subject to fines and penalties. So what other ways could you be a food criminal? Say you love fresh garden tomatoes. So you decide to plant a few. Only problem, your backyard faces north. Your front yard faces south. Well, you do the common sense thing. You plant a couple tomatoes out front where they get that beautiful southern exposure. Oh, but you can't garden vegetables in front yards. You're a food criminal. Well, it's true that we like our neighbors' front yards to look nice, and so we like to see shrubs and flowers. It's also true that it's their front yard, and if they want to grow a tomato plant, that's not such a bad thing to see come August. And it's also true that there are food handling laws for a reason. We don't want people to get sick. But we can't get so carried away with these laws and regulations that we make common human decency uncommon and illegal.